How much I love the Lord. No, they didn't think that. They didn't think about that. They didn't say anything like it. It was an unlikable moment where Christ was not very much liked. Another example, Mark 16, verse 14. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven, as they sat at meat, and upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. This is, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. That word upbraideth means, it just basically means chewing out. He gave them a royal chewing out for their unbelief because they didn't have faith after they had seen he was risen. I mean, think about that. I mean, a chewing out, you know, we like to think that, oh, it would have been so nice to live during the day of Jesus and had him as, you know, our master and we're the disciples and we're just learning at the master's feet and this would have been so pleasant and this would have been so good. No, no, you're, you're kidding yourself. You're kidding yourself. Chances are, as a disciple, we would have been highly offended. In fact, they all were. They were all highly offended at some of the things that Jesus said because he was in your face. He was about, yeah, he was rude at times. He was, you know, in your face correcting these men on a daily basis. You know, I think about our unlikable moments and how desperately we work at being liked and we try to avoid all of these unlikable moments that we have. We want people to love us. We want people, we don't want people to hate us. We don't want people to despise us or anything like that. We so desperately want people to accept us and, and like us. And yet, and yet, Matthew 10 and verse 22 says this, and you shall be hated of all men for, of all men for my name's sake, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. And you shall be loved. And you shall be liked. No, it says you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. You know, I'm convinced that most of us live our lives trying to be nice. We live our lives in what I call an appeasement mode. And by doing so, we're not authentic. We're not being true to ourselves. You ever had, we're, we're trying to avoid unlikable moments. You ever had a, a, an encounter where, with a person, and then after you left the person, you start thinking, I should have said this. I should have said that. I should have spoken up and brought up bump, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know. Yeah, yeah we, all would, we all do that. But my point is, because we are trying to be liked, because we are trying to avoid the unlikable moments, we're not being true to ourselves. We're not being authentic. 